Yeah, bro. Oh, check that out real quick. Some news on the section six. Are you free to chat right now? Yup. Immersive storytelling. After the news on section six clip. Let's compile all the info we have on the internet. Selected by Fairy along with those stream morsels from the news. Firstly, section six has to come out of the club. Plus, online reports have placed several experts in cybersecurity from both the HI and NEPS arriving at Lumina Square. That's what everyone's been guessing, but nobody knows what actually happened. Should we join the party? I think you'd be keen to join it all for fun, though. Let's go. Cars ready? No earlier, today at the HIA Club. Login failed. Missing authentication information. Login failed. Login failed. Damn it. I've been logged back in ever since the system kicked me out. I've checked everything, but even the login links disappeared at the end. How were they not able to pull their bodies out of the machine? It's been so long already. So Kaku, Miyami, Harasu, I mean, Asuba. They're all suffering. Inside, there's nothing I can do about it. Deputy Chief Shikishiro? Ah, oh, sorry about that. I was daydreaming. Has backup arrived yet? The professionals from hand have arrived. I'm working on relinking the connection so you can re-enter the virtual world. I tried logging in using the original the system prompts and missing authentication bridge. Ever since I've been here, I've been stuck with my team. Whether the virtual world or the real one. I can't figure out how there can be an authentication information that Miyavi, her master Sengoku will have, but I don't. Even if they can create a new connection, I'm worried they'll be able to log in. We won't be able to solve this bridge. Do you experts have any use to spot? We're working hard. I see. Thank you for your homework. We will never give up. Never. Please, don't cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't get the help out yet. We put you all in danger. Seriously, do you please stop crying? I'm really not into very good at handling my work next year. I'm sorry, I'm just so sorry. That was the supposed to be on days he made. Oh, like a wah, like, like a fucking boy. Like the writing show, good boy. That's what that was supposed to be. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just sad. Did you, did you, did you hear? I just went on to console all Section 6 fans outside. They were clutching all the gifts they wanted to give you idols. I told them that all that I'd passed them on for them. But you know what they said? They wanted to personally hand over their gifts and idols. The guardians of New Era. So they have a chip. She doesn't have the the Guardian of New Era do sticker or badge. We kept we kept everything secret though. We didn't know anything after that. We got no idea that heroes are now on the brink of death because of our negligence. That's not the guy really. Oh, your whole expression is shifted. Deputy Chief, are you gonna take your anger on me? That's okay. You can hit me. I deserve it. Please trust assured I should not be hitting you. But you just said to remind you of something. Please hold on a minute. I quick physical diagnosis on my teammates. Uh, of course. They're under expert medical supervision right now. If you can provide details on, so their their body, so they took their bodies out the machines, if their minds are still inside. How the fuck does that work? I understand. Thank you. Bro, you stand in the pod. Is that how it works? Well, that must be the most uncomfortable shit ever. Deputy Chief. Kishiro, thank you for all your hard work. I'm currently in charge of taking care of your three team members. You know, I've got new I've got a few questions you'd like to ask you. Thank you in advance. As long as it helps with the care, I'm gladly to tell you what about you know. Three basic health records are all three from the database, but something went wrong during their data transfer. We lost their info on each file's owners. I'd like your help in identifying which of these three records belong to each executive officer based on the descriptions. I'll do my best. The first record, uh, let me see. Wow, impressive. Looks like it's a petite Oni girl with exceptional physical ability. What do you think this file belongs to? Could be Lady Miyabi or Assassin. Do you really mean me for that? That. Fix your damn game. Please, my team can't bear the consequences of a mistake. I, I think the person describes this. Understood. I, I know, I'm not going to pick the wrong options. I know how funny it would be, but still. Now, second record. It belongs to a male officer. His bust, waist, and hip measure are. Understood. 
Blood Striker looks like it belongs to a dignified, powerful female fox siren who wears a sword and has earned the title of Void Hunter. The height is 170 meters. That must be with ears included, right? <laughs> Understood. Deputy Chief, thank you for your cooperation. All that has been strictly confirmed. Mr. Shirt, they'll do everything in our power to care for the three of them. Section 60 is a protector of the city. The symbol is security for everyone. So, Deputy Sixer, no matter what, please try to think of the back. Please, my job is on it. I will. I got the model for like the suits, like the HIA suits, is just as thick as the woman. They only hire women with like this bust length and width, hip size. Well, no, because these ones got triple the size out there. Can I really do it? I can wake something in quick watch. Like a caretaker mentioned in the new Air New Guardian badge, gleams brightly on the chest of the three. They're breathing is steady, and their hands are so warm. Anyone looking at them would never think they were on the brink of death. I can't imagine seeing that shit, so I have to bring you back. Just then, a message arrives. The cyber warfare experts have successfully restored a connection to the gateway. Miss Tsukishiro, the login link has been re-established, but part of the system is still under the enemy's control. The message authentication information missing keeps popping up, so we can't log in. I have an idea that might be worth a try. What's that in your hand? Oh, a new Eridu Guardian badge? That's a really unique design. Is it official hand merchandise? No, it's actually a That's virus. That's not important. Please take this badge to the specialist team for analysis. Exactly, I told you she didn't put it on because her pocket protector would be fucking crushed. This but, is incredible. Wait, do you intend to log into the system wearing this? It's the missing authentication information, isn't it? I called it, yes, bro. I called that it's shit. It's risky. Once you log in, you won't be able to activate safe mode. Even the pain feedback protection will be disabled, and it could... There's something I'd like to confirm. What is it? Are the core system rules still in effect? I'm talking about the content in this user guide. This system creates an immersive virtual realm synced with the user's senses. Once all test monsters are defeated, the session will automatically come to an end. According to the specialists, these rules are intact, correct? Uh, of course! These are the core rules governing the VR system. Our battle with the enemy has always been about gaining control of the system. And they have neither the ability nor the opportunity to alter them. Great, then I'm going into the system. My teammates are still out there. Please assist me, I'm counting on you. <laughs> that was Brother, so dude. moving. I'm going to create a dedicated fan club just for you. And one day, I'll make sure everyone in New Eridu is a die-hard fan of Miss Tsukishiro. Honestly, uh, she, she's the only one that didn't have a bunch of fans. She only had like the one girl cut. No, no, that's just what this I'm saying dude. out loud. My inner thoughts are way more embarrassing. If I were to say them out loud, you'd never look at me the same again. So I'll stop. But since you've made up your mind, I'll give it my all to support you. I swear, as the founder of the Tsukishiro Yanagi fan club, I pray to the founders of Eridu, to Lady Sunbringer, and the leftover noodles from lunch. I pray oh, okay. for the safety of you and everyone in Section 6. Thank you, thank the praise. Thank you. I'll make sure they all get back safely. What a lovely member of the team. Is that that login method? What's that song? Back in the virtual world, controlled by the enemy. Kick the door down. Something out of a nightmare. So this is what nightmares are like. Yeah, I guess they all got the same Wait, idea. Chief, you've never had one? No, never. Yeah, okay, bro. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 97%. Miyabi, there's no time! Please listen to me! There's no need. Have you already uncovered the enemy's secret? Yes, Chief. The well, music, I like it. Data collection progress is at 98%. You've got a plan to take them down, right? I do, Chief. Sakaku Bot. Sakaku Bot. Data collection progress is at 99%. Sakaku Bot. Then I'll leave it to you. This is basically vigil. Miyabi's combat data collection progress has reached 100%. Data collection complete. 
Model construction in progress. Let's see, bro. What's she gonna get turned into? Oh, that's what she looks like with a robo arm, the red eyes. To protect the city. Oh, she has her own mask on the back. I, Sukishiro Yanagi, become light. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> I mean, now it's not Chris. Everyone, I got here too late. Leave the rest to me. It doesn't matter how many students show up. Good. Good. Impressive, Deputy Chief. You're not going to turn into a Bangu too, huh? Hey, but I thought he'd be alone. He said, Edna. Yeah. You have to make new accent. <laughs> Resistance to Q power. Damn, bro. Yeah. So they got the rain in the main circle. She's a terrible bird. Weak spot located. Fuck it, bro. Hard in the pain. Okay. Well, her play style actually is kind of bad at it. I want to be careful. What kind of inception ass city bending shit is going on here? Well, the rain ought to make her disorder better. Don't worry, Chief. Leave it to me. Bang V size sword. Alright, so like, give her a fight. Give her the like bang V bow. Give her the like bang V honey banner. Oh, it's a giant robot. Oh, two. No, oh, no, 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 We press on. Mind and body. Mind and body, we press on. Careful, the enemy's recovered. He's right, I'm not dodging that shit at all. The fake is about to strike him. Huh? 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 Huh?
Shadow Clone. <laughs> Double dimensional cuts, bro. Nagi, you did it! <laughs> <sighs> I can finally clock out. <sighs> Are you ready? Let me ask you a question. How does her blade actually work? Because, like, we saw the time dilation. So How does that work? It's time to go back to being human. <laughs> Hang on, bro. Back to being human. Ain't two of them niggas not here, you know, whatever. <laughs> the dubstep does blast it, bro. Fuck it. I ain't saying that. No for no face from not in, in here. No, okay, well. Fuck it, just that there's no dialogue for the dude at the end there, bro. <laughs> Ran out of budget. Fuck it. Are sweaty, Sakaru. Look <laughs> at You're finally awake, Nagi. I was so scared. They said they said your mind used a force that exceeded your physical limits in there, and I thought it might cause your body to go haywire. A mind that exceeded your physical <laughs> limits. What does that mean? I see. I'll steer clear of that power in the virtual world from now on. Noted. Yeah, she stopped time. Or she I altered it. I told you the deputy chief would be alright. How do you feel? Sore all over? Maybe now you can relate to how I feel when I want to take a day off. I'm glad you're safe and sound too, Asaba. However, I think you're cuter in your bangboo form. Deputy chief! First you slap me physically and now you hit me with words? That's just cruel. She be being this nigga's ass no matter what, bro. Thanks to you. You got no game with we're the squad. In the real world, Yanagi. Your strategy worked, as always. Once you're back on your feet, will you help me draft my will? Now's really not the time for this, Chief. And what's with the will all of a sudden? In large families like the Hoshimi family, such things must be sorted early. We gotta find out how she lost her arm. Absolutely oh. later. <laughs> Totally overjoyed to witness this reunion. I'm afraid I have to interrupt. Just to be on the safe side, we need to give everyone a quick medical checkup. <sighs> Thank you, HIA medical staff. Special medical. That one is two days later. Okay, well, two days later, we're just gonna accelerate. So, the virus was implanted in us by the enemy through that batch. Virus isn't exactly accurate. It's a set of identification codes that aren't inherently dangerous and don't actively emit signals. Their sole purpose is to be detected during a full body scan when the wearer logs into the VR training machine. But when read, it becomes a virus. It opens up a back door allowing the attacker to hack into the system. Or at least, that's what the tech staff reported. Just stop bringing foreign objects in. Deputy Chief, how did you know the badge contained this virus. That's the only thing I didn't know. Looking back, the only distinction between my actions and everyone else was I didn't interact with any fans before the mission started. To ensure all the citizens who trust hand full at ease, the higher-ups have consistently encouraged officers to treat the fans as kindly as possible. It's only natural everyone wears the gifts sent by the fans. So that pretty badge was actually something harmful. Oh no, I can't remember who gave it to me. If I could, we could trace it back to them, right? Yeah, Don't probably. worry. I've already asked reliable colleagues to follow up. Could it be an insider within the HIA? I did have my doubts, but then I thought if an insider wanted to tamper with it, there are plenty of ways more subtle than implanting an identifier code. So she the most deep suspicious in person, she says I'm stupid. is the one who has the strongest reason to target Section 6 right now. Oh. Section 5? <laughs> now no. isn't the time for internal jokes. Chief, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? No face. We're just one step away from taking down their leader. If they were going to make a desperate move, 
Now would be the time. And it failed. Nullface once hacked into the HIA system and potentially gained access to internal intelligence. Furthermore, conducting electronic warfare through hacker groups has always been Nullface's specialty. Hacker groups. So in other words, the remnants of Nullface, who normally operate independently, are now joining forces? This is their last stand. To efficiently organize their attack against us, they likely aren't too spread out, making it the perfect opportunity to capture them all in one sweep. Huh, they can't organize the real hacker so organization. They cheat in the game world? These guys are the worst. So, when are we gonna go after them? Rather conveniently, the intelligence from our partner department has just arrived. How about we take them down today? Today? Shit. <laughs> Criminal sent the note that has been apprehended. That's it. Damn. Just like that. It was gone overnight. No like story. No uh, like, extra quest for that. The personal mission. No site got obliterated. Much coverage claiming that have taken down no face. I keep saying no sect. What was the hacker called in Watch Dogs? Dead sec. That was dead sec. No face. No. No face is this one, and then no forces. Overwatch. Jesus. Underscore garbage. That sure was super fast, yeah. The previous rumor had it that Section 6 got into trouble with the HIA Club. I handed nothing about it, which sent the rumor mill into overdrive. Now, online specialist Kenneth Section 8 was infiltrating the no face base the whole time to launch a sneak attack, and Han's lack of response was due to fear of the. That just seems like speculation. Sure, I mean, it's not like anyone witnessed it in the person. <laughs> they say that sleeping mind dreams and the worries. They say that the sleeping mind dreams about the worries of the day. Maybe I'll have one of those dreams tonight. I'm thinking, Bell, why? In Section 6, Big Bad Hollow Adventure. Can we play the bad guys? If Bell's a bad guy, then I'd like to be a bad guy too. After all, it's both, it's both of us that can't make up faith. It's fair for you to agree with me like this. So, how about it? You experience that dream right now? I'm gonna play VR, bro. It's not too far away. Let's go check it out. HIA. This shit actually got thrown my ass to the HIA, bro. They're still here. Welcome, Simpson. You experienced the latest VR system. Ah, you missed Tsukishino Yelai. And you're the leader of the independent investigation team. I expect to meet you here. That was just one, two, three. Miss Tsukishino. A paragon of wisdom and bravery for all of you. We all go crazy. That kid wasn't with her. That old man wasn't either. I guess now they're with. This is the little kid who, like, uh, her entire family got killed. Who are these people? Miss Sushiro's fan club. I'm the chief of the administrator. Would you just be interested in joining and becoming a member of Sushiro's little supporters? Everyone happened to our rule, rule number one. Right. Never cause troubles for our guests. What you're coding right now is causing trouble, you know? Right. We'll obey your instructions. I'll disappear right away. Wow. Loyal fan. My apologies. No matter how much I try to stop them, they insist on forming a fan club. So I had to set some rules for management. I invited the spokesperson responsible for the safety demonstration of the new VR system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm slips away without notice, you end up spending the entire day at the HIA club. By the end of the turn, it's already late into the night. You fall asleep without even realizing. The problem is you're exhausted. That's like me, bro. Yep, every night. <sighs> Beyond, bro. I'm actually tired. Bro, wanna accelerate this? Damn! And that's one special episode done and dusted into three parts that absolutely should not have been three parts. Ah, fuck it. The quest itself was fun to three parts, so why not? <gasps> Moonlight Tracer. You've chosen to save section six. Huh? Red bean token, bun token. Fuck it. We'll get on to it. I like the characters of section six. They're pretty cool. They all got unique personalities. No one's bizarre. They're all relatively normal. They are. Yeah, it feels like the beginning of a sci fi movie.
and they all seem pretty real. Like, none of them are like stereotypical. That's what I like about this game. None of the characters are the stereotypical, just like, oh, but I got the nuances. And they all got their like, oh, sure, because I make them real cool. The same thing with the, the officers. Like, us, like, Suyan is not the overworked, like, I dedicate my job. I'll do overtime, everybody. I can do everything type character. Like, how, like, Jean is the, uh, Genshin. Like, Kami North. Hey, what's up, bro? She's, like, yeah, overtime. Nah, I ain't gotta do that. So, I think the rest of them, they're like, they're not the super, super task force. They're all eccentric and they all want to get out of work. And while she's there, she doesn't want to be doing the overtime task force. But she gets stuck with it because they're all a bunch of asshole. I'm trying to act. No way. What a terrible reaction. I want to take a walk with you again. Nah, I'm not angry. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Take a walk if you want. G. Walk or a drive, you decide. What's the point, bro? All right, we got the trophies. Anyways, I like it. I like the team. I like the way it played out. Because she's pretty cool. I don't, I don't understand how she has like the time dilation on her blade. I don't know how that works. She dodged the attack because she's like, I swing my wrist with the blade. Only you could catch it. I believe in you. And she shotgun blast her way underneath, got her glasses cut, and stabbed the enemy. And then when he goes back, and I'll take you down with me, she comes back into her full form and is like, nah, nigga. And strikes her down. I gotta get her, bro. I like both characters, but fuck it. The one is fine. You feel me? Her banner is up. Her banner is cool. I want it lighter, too. It's like, sure, I could do a tent pull, but like, it's like, not gonna get the character. It's like, <laughs> gotta bend, fucking holy shit! The fuck was expecting that? Anyways, huh? Is something the matter? Hmm. Let me finish my cup of hot water. Need something? My services are expensive. How can I help? But alas. How can I help? We won't be getting her maximum power. We will be, in fact, time for some hard skipping labor. her, having to get her on a rerun or some other time. But yeah, not stereotypical. Mission itself wasn't that crazy. Like I, I don't know what I expected in Virtual Revenge, but it was very simple. Did we get new music based off this? The real question. Yeah, I. Oh, they do have the song. I didn't realize they had the full song on here. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Cool mission. Very cool. I didn't talk much during it. Glam sick, but whatever. Fuck it. Nice and done. What it done? The music was good. I. It's like they set up no sector to be a target and they destroyed them immediately. Kind of lame, but you know, whatever. But we got more and more into the characters. I wonder what like Miyabi stories. I was just seen a large fan. So she's 170 meters, with ears included. So what? I guess her ears are six inches. <laughs> whatever. Man.